More Roblox cringe? Love your content, man. I just love watching these videos. We need to stop Roblox TikTok. Remember right me when now. you get Roblox famous. Roblox kids be loving Roblox weird TikTok, stuff for their man. Age. These okay, videos okay, get okay. fatherless Some Roblox vibes. Roblox users have really cool. This is the stuff. Roblox these kids are cringe. Sometimes I think those Roblox, Roblox TikToks are basically Roblox. the main ones that I know. Like a TikTok. I wonder how he found these Roblox thumbnails. Uh, no comment. All right, people, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Welcome to Roblox TikTok The Saga. Now, I've been getting so many comments with overwhelming support regarding the Roblox TikTok series, and honestly, thank you. But I'm gonna be completely honest with all of you. This Roblox series, it's kind of getting old. So I thought, what better of a way to end off this series by putting it into one big marathon? I've made so many videos talking about Roblox cringe, so it would only make sense for me to make this video. But anyways, if you end up enjoying this video, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, with that being said, audience, Enjoy the movie. The pen or a pencil. No, I don't. All I need is my body. Bro, what is this video even supposed to mean? Like, even the Indian men and the Chinese women don't think that Slenders are ugly in Roblox? I'm kind of getting racy vibes from this YouTube video, so, like, your only preference is, like, Indian men and Chinese women? Because, audience, I'm pretty sure that everybody knows that Indian men and Chinese women are the best human beings that ever, uh, spawned on this human planet, okay? They're, they're the best race. Totally no questions asked. So anyways, as I, your typical Caucasian 6'2 white male, is concluding that Indian men and Chinese women are the best race, uh, yeah, this video is racy, dude. Either way, dude, I think that all people are created equal regardless of your skin. I can't believe we're actually still on this uh, this racial topic nowadays. But to anybody that actually thinks a slender looks hot or sexy inside of Roblox, then you're not a human being, all right? Why am I not even surprised? My Roblox girlfriend is so freaky, bro. Whoa! She be shaking them Lego legs like... Ooh. I've said this time and time again, and I'm gonna continue saying it, bro. I'm, I'm looking at the video, and I'm not getting excited. My member is not standing up. You can send me all the Roblox NSFW that you can think of, ladies and gentlemen, but bro, you, you, you no matter what you send me, I'm not gonna be like, wow, dude, thank you. Thank you for sending me this. Uh, this is now my new preference. Look, dude, the second you guys ever get attracted to pixels on a screen, I mean, I was too back in, like, what, middle school? Being dead honest, bro, none of this stuff is actually good for you, bro. Just, just go ahead and talk to a real girl out in the real world, right? I promise you, audience, it's gonna be, it's gonna be much better than this. This, this is, this is absolutely, this is rudimentary, okay? This is trash. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? Ladies and gentlemen, what you guys are seeing right here is exhibit A of what a 10-year-old's version of sexual intercourse is supposed to be. Yeah, dude, you making this TikTok right now, you you are making me excited, all right? You know, I'm looking at this video and thinking, whoo, I'm about, I'm about to grab the Dove lotion, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to grab everything I need to. There is gonna be nothing that is gonna distract me from getting the whole Transformer Lego set on what I'm about to do to this TikTok, right? Right now. I'm just kidding, audience, all right? You know, I just said that I'm not into this type of stuff. You know, I'm actually into, uh, 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 actually nothing. Just like, 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 audience, okay, just don't look at these YouTube videos, okay? It's not good for you. If you, if you are actually, you know, getting attracted to this stuff, then just look away. Try to, uh, apply some discipline. Try to get yourself out of this, uh, disgusting addiction. Because believe me, bro, looking at these videos, this is not it, chief. Oh, GF dancing yeah, I'm not really understanding what exactly is so sexy about this uh this TikTok here. I mean, the, the the girls flossing uh it's not very sexy. I mean, this thing came from Fortnite. And last time that I checked, dude, I'm not going to get my moist meter Peter out to a Fortnite character. All right, you know, I'm just not that guy. However, I will say if anybody out of the audience just looked at this YouTube video and thought that wow, I'm getting a chumpy in my plumpy, then uh, you might need to go see a therapist. I mean, I'll gladly give you a full ride with the finances. Go ahead and get the help that you need, buddy. Dang, dude, this guy really said that who wants to be my girlfriend? I got a deep voice and I'll give you Robux 24-7. And you're also like 70, 80 years of age, all right? I'm pretty sure that no third grader is gonna be messaging you. Well, I mean, I mean, third graders are pretty stupid nowadays. All I'm saying is that whenever I was a third grader, bro, I would not be messaging anybody online, all right? I, I thought the internet scared me. I was the kid back in like 2012 when I heard the voice chat. I thought it was like a virus on my computer, bro. I was that paranoid of the internet, but I guarantee you 
you. Nowadays, the third grader is going to be like, oh my gosh, I get th for free Robux, bro. And they're going to DM anybody that they need to get those Robux. I don't know why people care about cosmetics in a video game so much. I mean, it's really not a big deal. It doesn't, you know, enhance your gaming performance. It's seriously just a waste of time. It's a waste of money and a waste of your dignity, bro. Like, well, why are you spending so much money on this garbage? La, 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 la. Oh, yeah. Thirsty Slenders. Who needs a boyfriend and a bodyguard? Not me, bro. I I'm good. You know, I I'm, I'm really, I'm really good. Happy, 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 happy. Yeah, bro, I'm done. I I'm sick of Roblox Slenders. You guys are not sexy. I mean, I'm I I'm infinitely more sexy than these guys, and I never even shown my face, like, fully on the internet. I know for a fact that when I do a face reveal, when I hit, like, what, 100,000 subscribers, I know 100% audience that I am gonna look sexier than any Roblox Slender that you have ever came across, all right? You guys just prepare your pants for, what, for, for what's to come. What's up, baby girl? <laughs> Look, man, I'm just gonna be honest with you, bro, all right? This whole deep voice thing, stop doing it. You're embarrassing yourself. Your crush doesn't like you back. The second you post a TikTok, if you sing, hey, baby girl, oh, you have lost every single female connection in a 5,000-mile radius, all right? You screwed up. I mean, it's not too late to delete this video, but, bro, the, the damage has already been done. You just, like, you, you, you screwed up, man. The second you said, hey, baby girl, you lost it all, bro. Bro, you lost it all. All right, so I'm pretty sure that a few of you guys looked at this video and thought that, wow, dude, that was some good editing. You know, that was some good production. You know, I'm pretty sure a few of you guys thought that. However, if you want my honest to good opinion on what I think about this video, all I see is wasted talent. How do you feel, audience, that this person, this talented person took hours out of their day to make this Roblox edit? You know, I spend around like 40 minutes a day making a video and it seriously does not take that much effort, like at all. The amount of time that this person spent hours making this Roblox edit it, I could have made like eight videos and made like it like quadruple their views. I'm just gonna spell it out for you, audience. All right, high effort does not equal high achievement. All right, you know I I don't do anything and I and I'm wildly more successful than some of these people that work their butts off. Yeah 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 yeah, I would give you the world, baby girl. Yeah, that's right, baby. I want to be this guy's baby girl, because who who would not want the world, baby girl? You know, all these guys got a six-pack. These guys got pretty thick pecs. I mean, this guy's got the brawny paper towel shirt. You know, I'm all in, bro. You know, audience, I can only imagine what that double-decker pecker is looking like downstairs. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little interested, not gonna lie. You know, after all these steroids that this guy took, it's probably like mine when it's all shriveled up and ice cold. These guys got no competition to even your average Joe, all right? I know it's small down there. Hey, like, just gonna throw this out there. You're really cute. Thank you. Thank you, you kind Roblox player for getting rid of these e-girls. I swear, bro, one less e-dater on Roblox is one less e-dater on the internet, okay? This guy just did the world a huge favor. If you really think about it, audience, all right, that is one less person that is gonna be e-dating another fool, another tool on the internet, and, and, you, and you guys don't have to hear about it. I am thankful. I am proud. I am proud of this Roblox man, okay? I, 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 I wish I could kiss him. Really wanna get naughty. I think you're such a this person right here, audience, is what you would call a lost cause, all right? There's gonna be no saving this person here. If you ever think, audience, in your life that you have gone off into the deep end, all right? If you think that there is nothing else saving you, believe me, you you haven't gone down to this avenue here. Unless you're, like, past the age of 18 and you like minors, then I guess, uh, well, what can I say at that point, all right? I mean, I I'm pretty sure that you you're not even a part of society at this point, but if you want someone, like, a little step below, you know, those people right here, I gotta say, it's this person right here, all right? This person is pretty deep degenerate if I do say so myself. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it, audience. Why is there a parent buying all of those Roblox cards? Like, like, like for who? I really hope that this woman is like a millionaire, right? You know, I, I highly doubt that she's a millionaire. I mean, she looks literally insane if you look at her. But if she is telling the truth that she bought all the Roblox gift cards at a GameStop, then uh, you know what? If she's going to go bankrupt, I, I think she deserves it. She entirely deserves it. I want black and thank you for following. Let's see if you get it. Black is more of a rare color, so I'm gonna give you, oh.
Okay, so you got black your first try. Okay, so for anybody that didn't read that TikTok, or maybe it went by a little bit too fast, let me go ahead and read you what happened again. My mom struggling to get pregnant. Me getting pregnant first time at 14 years of age. Look, bro, I don't know if you're trying to, like, flex the idea that you you got impregnated at 14 years of age, but, uh, dude, you should not be, you should not be doing, you should not even be thinking about, you know, having a kid at 14 years of age. Ladies and gentlemen, to everybody that is watching this video, if, if somebody gets pregnant at 14 years of age, it, it, the last thing that I'm going to expect them to do is raise their fist and shake it up to the sky, being like, yeah, woo! I'm a parent at 14. Yeah, I got, I'm, a, I'm a parent in middle school. Woo! <laughs> I'm not even understanding this TikTok in the slightest. Oh, like, people who do what? People who, who, who shake their Roblox Lego body like that? Like, is that supposed to make me excited? To all these Roblox kids thinking that I'm gonna have a crush or I'm gonna fall in love with a Lego character, then you are horribly mistaken. How does people even get attracted to this stuff? It's literally pixels on a screen at the end of the day. It's not even like anime characters, right? It's literally a video game. It's literal video game coding. How do these 10-year-olds wake up in the morning and think, oh my gosh, I finally get to talk to Rosie 3845 today. Woohoo! Thank goodness. You guys need to go to school, talk to some girls, you know, get some social interaction somehow, some way. Because I'm telling you right now, the, these current methods that you're doing trying to flirt with girls on Roblox.com, it, it's not the way to go, dude. Girl, you guys are reading this, right? Look at this degenerate. Me going out with my family, acting like my boy best friend, didn't just make me bust four times in voice chat. <laughs> Why? Why? Why do people think that this would be a great idea to go ahead and post on YouTube.com, TikTok.com? Like, dude, you are legit selling your privacy. It's not even privacy. I mean, I, I think everybody should know about this. Don't get me wrong. The reason why everybody should know about this is because everybody needs to know. You need to spread awareness about yourself of how much of a degenerate you are. Anybody and everybody should be at least 50 football fields away from you at all times. Once again, why? I don't understand. Why is the TikTok community so full of sexual deviant energy? Like, I'm just trying to log on to Roblox. Like, this is all I play on Roblox. What you guys are seeing on screen right now is the only is the only affiliation I have with the Roblox community is playing Arsenal. I, I'm a very conservative person when I go onto Roblox. I play Arsenal, I get some gameplay, and then I go off and I get some videos. And the thing that I'm trying to understand, and believe me, I really am trying to understand this community. Community. Like, how does your average 10-year-old Roblox player, you know, play something like Squid Game or Arsenal, and then a few months later, they're involved with this fart fetish, and they're wanting to go ahead and have uh, all these really sexual type of videos? I just don't understand this whole insanity, right? Whenever I was 10 years old, I was playing with Pokemon cards. I was playing, you know, Slapjack with my father. If you told me back in the day, because Minecraft was a big topic back then, if you told me whenever I was 10 years old that I would be infatuated with Minecraft sex videos... I would probably ask you the question of what sex is. I, I probably didn't even know what it was back then. It's just like, why? Society is just going downhill, bro. The law, law, law. Trigger warning, deep voices. Uh, what's wrong with a deep voice now? Well, what's, what's, what's racist about deep voices now? I'm pretty sure it's racist. It's probably racist. Will you be our baby girl has abs in real life in lots of Robux? Wow, dude. Wow, I'm breaking a cold sweat right now because of how attracted I am to you. You know, this takes right here this guy that made the tiktok has probably got the whole package okay he it doesn't matter how old he is right it totally doesn't matter how much money he has it doesn't matter how mature he is it doesn't matter why because he's got a six pack and he's got a lot of robux i don't know bro i feel like that these roblox kids definitely have a better idea of what a good suitor for life would be than me you know I i'm just i'm very inexperienced compared to these kids i don't know maybe one day i'll be able to get a roblox girlfriend just like uh, these dudes i'm sure i'm sure these guys got girlfriends i'm pretty sure they got all the women in the world. Maybe one day some of these masculine men can drop me one of their women for me. You know, I can pick up some of their leftovers because I don't know, man. I I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty lonely out here. I don't know who your nine year old ass think you talk to, but I got stitch. Why are you trying to talk all that? Sh now sit your happy ass down. Oh yeah, baby, we got some Roblox controversy, girl. You ain't even got stitch. The hell? And of course, this very base, this very epic Chad just clapped back by saying, "You know what? I sit your happy butt down because." I do got the Stitch outfit uh, in Roblox.com. <laughs> Wow, 
wow, look at this walking identity crisis. I didn't know that these types of people even existed. This person is so unbelievably confused with who they are, you know, regarding trans people, you know, you're fine, you know, a, a gender dysphoria, I completely understand it, you know, it, it must be hell. But I'm pretty sure that all of us can come together, put our swords together on the table and say that this person is out of their mind. I never thought another likewise human being would be able to wake up in the morning and think, you know what, I'm gonna dress up as a Roblox character and become a complete psychopath in my home. This guy needs some serious help. I mean, I don't think it's any surprise that this guy needs help to anybody that knows this guy. Uh, notify your mental institution immediately. <laughs> Wait a second, is that a girl? Uh, oh no, oh no. Why does it ill? Ew. Wow, bro, so funny. When I see someone that has cancer, ha ha ha. Okay, I think this is probably one of the creepiest Roblox videos I've ever seen. You know, when you really think about it and you're able to shrink down to the size of Ant-Man, you must really be able to do a lot of really perverted things if you are the size of Ant-Man. And, and the fact that you're actually able to go inside of this woman's throat and explore her insides is actually disgusting. Attention all Roblox players. So some of us have already figured out that the bum buns aren't actually real hackers. They just like to raid games and spam. Well, there's something a lot more serious. Okay, look, little girl, I know you're, like, really, you know, infatuated with your Roblox fantasies and stuff like that, right? But it, it, it's nothing crazy. It's a Roblox hacker on a video game. Like, seriously, what is gonna change in your life if you get hacked on Roblox.com? Oh, no, you're gonna lose an outfit? Are, are you serious? I don't know, maybe it's just me because, you know, I'm a grown man, you know, I don't have to worry about Roblox. This isn't one of my top priorities. But does it really matter? It's a video game. Like, who cares? They call them themselves the dip dip girls if you watch stars roblox on youtube then you probably already know how she was talking about her friend getting hacked by the dip dips they found out her friend's location and name oh wow the the, the dip dip girls oh i don't want to mess with the dip dip girls on roblox.com oh what are what are these dip dip girls gonna do to me are they gonna are they gonna boot me offline oh god forbid i can't play arsenal for 15 minutes oh no like bro just just go outside like come on I'll get to charge another day. Oh, uh, what? What is with the Roblox community and the really weird age gap fetishes? Like, oh, yeah, sugar daddy, we're gonna get a child soon. Oh, baby girl. Uh, we'll get the child another day. My Viagra ain't working right now. I log on to Roblox each and every single day to go ahead and get myself some Arsenal gameplay so that you guys can enjoy it inside of my YouTube videos because I'm pretty good at Arsenal. I'll be honest. But audience, if you ever think that I'm going to dip myself and involve myself with this type of insanity, then you must be terribly mistaken because I'm a very conservative Roblox player. I'm never going to be dipping my toes into this territory unless it's me reacting to this terrible content on YouTube.com and TikTok. Com, that is the only affiliation I'm gonna have. No, Papa Gary, don't be mean. Sorry, Super Saki. It's fine, Papa Gary, let's go to the park. Please, Super Saki. No, do not. Do not go to the park with your sugar daddy. That is probably the last thing you need to be doing right now. What you want to be doing right now is uh, log off of Roblox, and you, what you want to do is open up your math textbook and go ahead and finish up that multiplication homework you've been putting off for weeks. If sugar daddy is not helping you with your math homework right now, then he's not a very good one, is he? It's the sunset, yay. Peas on sugar daddy. All right, I think that's enough for that specific TikTok right here. I, I you know, I, whenever he pees on sugar daddy, I don't think we want to hear the rest of the TikTok. So I'm gonna go ahead and let your imagination, you know, run free. Go ahead and think what you will of it. But yeah, uh, l let's go ahead and check out the next TikTok, shall we? I don't know, dude. I'm looking at you right now, and I don't think any girl is going to want to date a guy that doesn't even have a face or or a missing leg. At that point, I would just think it's necrophilia. I mean, you practically don't even have a body at this point. So all the ladies that are out there that are into necrophilia, uh, I, I think I got a man for you. I think I got a man that can provide all the needs that you're wanting. Really hoping she doesn't show. 
You know, that's a very nice question. Do Asians still eat dog meat and bats? I'm just curious. Well, I mean, if you're wanting to refer to, like, South Korea, I mean, they're still eating, like, what, like, a million dogs per year? I don't know why this is a question on Roblox TikTok, but, uh, yes, yes, they still eat dogs and bats. I it's a custom. Who cares? <laughs> Things that I say in my lolly voice. Oh my gosh, why, why are you saying stuff in a lolly voice? That's just nasty, you sick freak. Well, boys and girls, let's go ahead and check out what this woman has to do for her auditions of uh, her lolly voice. Uh, uh. Snuggles cutely. Give me Robux. A oh, woo. Notice me, senpai. You know, I'm heavily considering offing myself right now. You know, I got a Home Depot rope right next to me. It's triple threaded. I can probably go outside and hang it up next to my oak tree. I could tie the most authentic and beautiful noose you have ever seen, and, and I'll be on my merry way. But you know what, audience? I'm not going to do that. Why? Because I still got a video to record on YouTube.com because I love you guys. Which one of you emos want to put your core blocks inside of- Oh, oh. Nobody. Absolutely nobody wants to put their core blocks inside of you, you sick dick. Demented child. You know what, audience? I'm, a, I'm I'm at a loss for words for this one. It, the music was just ever so beautiful. It was a nice, beautiful acoustic instrument. I really have no idea what the instrument was, but it was pretty beautiful. However, this video track right here, it just makes it entirely off-putting to the point where I'm just like, I never want to listen to acoustic music ever again. I'm looking at the TikTok right now, and it just gets creepier and creepier the more I listen to this instrumental. It's just, it's so off-putting. It's so eerie and weird. I think I should stop watching. Actually, no, we, we should stop watching this video. Let's Let's go ahead and check out the next TikTok. Blockies are hot now. Where are my baby girls? Where are my baby girls? Well, I'll go ahead and tell you one thing, my guy. There are definitely football fields light years away from you. Wherever you are is where women are not. And I'll go ahead and fill you in on a little secret. Uh, Roblox is where women are not, okay? You know, if you want to find a girl like a child, like a little fetus, then, then Roblox is the place for you. But if you want to find women, women, okay, then you got to go to the real world and you got to be looking. That is how you get a suitor. That is how you get a woman for your life. I think you're talking to yourself. Pathetic rose eyes. Keep rolling your eyes, you might just find a brain. Wow, bro, that is funny. That has got to be the funniest thing I've heard all day. This was my face the entire time the TikTok was playing. Just, uh, just let that sink in. You know, here's the funny thing. There's going to be no Roblox YouTuber, no Roblox TikToker that can ever make me piss my pants in laughter, okay? It's never going to happen. So I'm just going to set a precedent for the rest of this video. You're not going to laugh at these TikToks. You're either just going to cringe. You're, you're, you're going to be recoiling from how, uh, how disgusting these people are. But here's one certain thing. You're not going to laugh at these TikToks. You're probably going to laugh at me laughing at at these TikToks because, well, we here we are in communion laughing at these videos together. But at the end of the day, bro, these TikToks are disgusting and all these guys need to go ahead and see like a psychologist or something. Wow, gee whiz, I expected a few of these videos to at least pop up on my screen. Roblox twerk videos. Um, I, ex I expected this to come about. I see this in every single Roblox cringe compilation. There's always one twerk video, and I'm sorry, I'm looking at the video. I'm really examining it with all of my 2020 vision eyeballs. I am not getting excited from these videos. I'm sorry, it's not making me happy. I am your new teacher. I'm high. Hi. You're very ugly. That's what I told your dad. <sighs> what do I say? What do I say at this point? Oh, wow. Wow. Funny. Woohoo. This is funny. I I'm pissing my pants right now. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. No more, cheese. It's late. I gotta go home. <sighs> You know, this TikTok was automatically disgusting from the get-go, but let's just go ahead and go back to the very beginning because there's something that I'm pretty sure that all of us missed. I love heart emoji. Baby, I forgot to pull out. Like, bro, like, just, just... <sighs> oh, why, do I, why am I making this video? You said I was a nice guy. But I... The next words are yes, sir. Or have you forgotten? Yes, sir. <laughs> Good. 
Now ass up, baby girl. What are with all these emo kids on Roblox? They probably think they're like pillars of wisdom, okay? They're the most deep and real people. But no, dude, you're just, you're just weird. You're just goofy. I mean, I was an emo kid back in like, what, eighth grade, okay? I did a lot of goofy stuff in middle school, but at least I wasn't like these guys right here. I guess the pure takeaway for today's video is just don't be a Roblox kid, okay? If you are on Roblox, just be like me and just play. I was chilling on a Zoom meeting and then my mama comes up to me with this f***ing huge plate with tacos on it. I was like, yes, heaven. Oh boy, today we got ourselves a chubby Roblox player explaining how they ate tacos. Uh, th this isn't gonna go well. Started eating them tacos without hesitation until I heard my stinky winky teacher's voice saying I'm not allowed to eat in his class. Okay, you jealous bitch, it's not my fault you're too poor to afford food. Well, it's not the idea that he can't afford food, all right? I'm pretty sure that your math teacher or whoever it is can afford tacos. After all, it is his Zoom meeting, it is his classroom. Well, I mean, it's not really. I actually, I take back everything I said. If a teacher on Zoom is telling you you can't eat tacos at your own home, okay, that is sad. I take back everything I said, okay? This girl can eat her tacos in class, okay? I don't care what anybody says. And of all, this is my house and I can do whatever I want. I didn't say that though, I just turned up my camera. Oh, all of a sudden, what? my- Bro, you are such a pussycat. Oh, you were just like, oh, I hate my math teacher. I hope he, he gets deported and all this other stuff. But in all reality, all you did was turn off your camera. You had this huge climactic buildup, right? You were talking about how, how great this story is. And then you're just like, yeah, I, I turned off my camera. You know, it, wh what kind of ending is that, bro? That sucks. Sudden, my stomach started dancing and I was so dramatic. I just fake fell onto my computer and that's when I realized I f***ed up. I turned my camera on by accident and keep in mind my mic was unmuted. I let out this huge little Nessa Barrett little shaddy and this huge pile of sh runs down my leg. Oh my f***ing gosh, that was disgusting and I was wearing gray sweat pants. Oh, baby, you, uh, you sharded your pants in front of your math class? Oh, th that's very unfortunate. I really have no idea if this Roblox story is actually real. I really hope it is real because, uh, th that's funny. You actually need something funny to happen in school. But bro, to anybody out of the audience that has ever had a poop story in class or whatever or at school, I, I feel so sorry for you. Like, how does it feel you have to go to the restroom and stuff your entire thing of trousers full of toilet paper just so that you can get through the day? I am really sorry for you, my dude. Or or ladies, okay? You know, I'm pretty sure ladies uh, do shart their pants. It's probably a myth, you know, that, that ladies do that kind of stuff, but uh, I, I think that I believe in it. If that's ever happened to any of you guys, I I'm sorry. That must be really unfortunate unfortunate. That must be really sad. Uh, hopefully everybody doesn't remember that story, but uh, I know you will for the rest of your life, and I'm sorry for your trauma. Up in this Willy Wonka chocolate factory waterfall came running down my pants. At that point, my sweatpants was covered in shit, and when I turned around, this whole f***ing baboon of a class started laughing. Even my f teacher like shut your f***ing mouths up before I come and murder every single one of you. My floor was covered in chocolate. I could literally feed the entire African continent. My mom comes in with gloves and everything like it really had better protection than the whole SWAT team still came out and I started crying my eyes out like this was a whole mess. I ran to the shower and sat there in tears. Okay, look, I get it. You know, you're like 10 years old. You're trying to explain how funny you are in the story, but dude, you can only give so many metaphors in a story before it, it just gets watered down to nothing. Look, in order to tell a really good story, you gotta have the rising action, the climax, the falling action, and the conclusion, but you see, you keep on giving the, the climax over and over again to the point where it's just a big cliff and it's just gonna be a terrible drop-off. This has gotta be the worst story I've ever heard. Oh, guys, this winky D Stinky, stinky, humpty, dumpty, been running down my leg, and I had to go into the shower and cry. <laughs> like, dude, please shut up. In my right mind, I can ride, ride. Oh boy, I got another stiffy. Her avatar is so freaking cute. My ugly stick is so stiff. Mmm, nice, bro. Your sex drive is definitely up to date. It is more than working. All you have to do now is just meet a woman in the real world. Uh, that, that's all you have to do. It may be a little bit more difficult than what you might think, but uh, it, it's doable. Maybe when you're like 40 and after like 20 years of therapy, you could probably do it. You, you might be able to meet another woman in the real world. But until then, bro, child. I, I'm telling you right now, this ain't gonna, this ain't gonna be working, okay? What you typed on on uh, this TikTok, this is not going to attract women into your life. If anything, it's probably going to repel women to ever want to go in front of you. Guys, look at my shirt. Nicholas has been trying to rip it off. So Nicholas wants to rip off your shirt. How about uh, how about you just don't? Like, how about you just walk away from Nicholas? You can do so many things. You can turn him in for sexual harassment. You you can sue him. You know, get some money out of him. There's so many great solutions. He's ripped it to shreds. Should I let him see these succulent melons? 
what? Wh hello? So what's the big deal? If he so badly wants to see your succulent melons, as you like to describe them, then why are you bringing it up inside of this TikTok? Why don't you and Nicholas go ahead and get a room? All right, I gotta be serious for like a second, right? Why do these little kids try to like adapt to like adult humor the second that they discover puberty? It's like, yeah, dude, we, we've we've already been through puberty, okay? We already know what, what boobies and, and uh, vaginies are, okay? We already are very familiar with what that is. We've been living our lives with these things attached to our bodies our entire lives. I don't know why it's so why it's so interesting now, but I will say one thing. Your humor talking about succulent melons, it's not that funny. So when I was in fourth grade, slime was really popular. It was so popular to the point everyone was making it and people would trade their slimes all the time. I was one of those people. How much you want to bet that this story is going to be ending up in somebody sharding their pants? I, I guarantee you it's going to happen. Did YouTube videos and some of the kids from my school would watch them. I basically did slime tutorials and I would sell my slimes for 50 cents. One time I got a comment from this girl named Augusty Musty. She commented on my video saying how she wanted to buy the slime I made. I said yes, of course. The next day at recess, we both met behind the basketball courts. I brought the slime she asked for and told her that it would cost 50 cents. This bitch said she only brought a quarter. She kept demanding me to to give her the slime for a quarter so I had enough. I slapped her in the head with the slime and the slime got stuck in her hair. I started putting more slime in her hair. Then when it was all in there I yanked the slime out. I swear I ripped so much hair out of her head that she looked like an egg. Her hair came out in clumps and it looked like she had lice and fleas. I pulled her hair so hard it made her shart. I knew it. I knew it was coming. At some point I was literally keeping my ears peeled, all right? It was near the end of the story, but bro, I knew that somebody was going to shart their pants at some point. Does like every single fourth grader like shart their pants inside of school? Like aren't you guys potty trained by at least first grade? I pulled the most clumps clumpy, Donald Trumpy, very lumpy, made her grumpy, Humpty Dumpty, smelled like a dumpy, made roads bumpy, made me thinky, it smelled stinky, made the boys winky, marker inky, wanna linky, I ran far, hit her with the car, went to the bar, twinkle twinkle little star, gave her scars, smoked cigars, sounded like a jaguar, went to Mars, I have ever seen, she went to the hospital and she turned out to have bowel cancer. Legit, this has got to be the most unfunny thing I've ever seen in my life. You know, it's perfectly fine to have like a little bit of a rhyme or two inside of your story so it can add some more charisma, but whenever you got at least 15 seconds of you just rhyming a bunch of random words to describe someone sharding their pants, okay? Like, oh, we get the joke. Children are never gonna be funny, ladies and gentlemen, okay? If you are ages like 1 through 12, okay, you're never gonna be funny. <laughs> If this is supposed to be twerking right here, then I must be like Nicki Minaj when it comes to twerking. And guess what, audience? There was actual people that are looking at this TikTok right now and thinking, ooh, baby girl, this is something else. And to those people that did think that whenever they watched that TikTok, uh, you are a degenerate, all right? Go outside. <laughs> I don't care, dude. Why is it in your bum? I, I have no idea. It, it's a glitch in a video game. Who cares? These little kids would try literally anything to try to make themselves funny, but they fail dramatically. Just off the porch, now I'm on a rooftop. Ay, 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 ay. Bad little bitch, she giving me knowledge. Shawty real fine and she got a call. I already have so many questions just from this singular TikTok alone. Why is this little kid? This kid sounds like he is like five years old hopping on this beat. Where is this kid's parents? Where did this kid get a microphone? I really have no idea. It's somewhere on the Discovery Channel where we need to figure out where this kid got the microphone. And whoever bought this kid a microphone, you need to return it to Walmart instantaneously. Are you seeing the trash music this kid's making? But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, that's actually aside from the entire point. The real point of this TikTok here is to look at the caption. No, guys. So I was watching PH. To everybody that doesn't know what PH is, it's probably best you don't know what PH is. Seeing naked people on your phone is not good, ladies and gentlemen, okay? It's bad. So I was watching PH in my room, and then I checked the user, and it was my mom. Bro, bro, come, bro, come on. I have three questions, right? Why are you on the PH website? You're probably like eight years old. Second off, why is your mother even on the website to begin with? I mean, why is she consuming that much meat? You know what I'm saying? And third off, how do you not even recognize your own mother like what this tiktok is honestly just all over the place but then again we're talking about tiktok cringe here so i mean i would not be surprised in the slightest that this tiktok is actually real me on my way to play roblox like i didn't just let my school bully destroy my throat lol Oh, I really, I really have no other words. I mean, I just want to know how old are these kids? You're probably like in second grade. You want to know what I was doing in second grade, audience, okay? I was playing with Pokemon cards, okay? I was playing what? Uh, uh Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Soul Silver. I was having a good time back in like, what, 2010? But no, for some reason, these second graders automatically think that they're submissive and breedable for some reason. I really have no idea. Whoa, what, what, what was it? What's the trend nowadays for these kids to go ahead and do this type of stuff? 
I have no idea. I just know that whenever I was a little kid, I was keeping my nose clean, okay? You know, I, I was looking at the popsicles. I was playing my Pokemon. I was looking at my Pokemon cards. I was a good kid. I was not taking anything in the throat in the second or third grade, okay? The only thing that would be going down my throat would probably be like dino chicken nuggets. Hey, this is for anybody that was still reading the TikTok that went by way too fast, I'm gonna go ahead and read it for you guys again. Whenever he asks for a 411 brunette that changes styles every other week, does witchcraft, and is sent to the mental hospital every other month and has an obsession with taking noodles. You know, from the popular belief that this person is probably taking the bad noodles, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna play devil's advocate, and I really hope that this person is referring to udon noodles. You know, I consume a lot of noodles myself, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I go to the Japanese restaurant every other week. I like my noodles, okay? I love eating noodles. You know, I'm just praying to Jesus Christ that this 411 brunette that does witchcraft and goes to the mental hospital every single month is not referring to the noodles that I have downstairs. I saw the light inside I love you, baby girl. I actually have no idea what this TikTok means. I just thought it looked goofy, so I'm just gonna put it in here. You know, this is actually the first TikTok where a kid actually got brave enough to go ahead and try to show his face on TikTok, a an actual Roblox player. And honestly, for that, bro, I gotta give you a round of applause, okay? For you to actually show your face on the internet and knowing that people like Poncho and Decept and me exist, I'll have to tip my hat to you. You actually got brave enough to show your face on the internet. But either way, dude, even though you've shown your face on the internet, you know, I'm shaking my fist for you. I I'm proud of you. You know, you're the first guy to ever do this. This TikTok you made, my dude, was honestly, it was cringe. You know, obviously you're in this video, but, you, but that was cringe. Please never do it again. Never make a TikTok like this ever again and uh, and take a shower. So y'all remember how PE teachers used to make you run the mile in elementary school? Well, boy, do I have a fucking story for you. Oh boy, are we going to be talking about PE elementary teachers telling us to run a mile in PE class? Bro, I'm going to be honest with all of you. I'm not a very strong kid, okay? I'm going to throw a little video of myself on screen right now. You can't see my face, but just to go in and show you guys, I'm not a very strong kid. Do not ever complain about running a mile inside of PE class, okay? After all, it is called physical education, you know? You're supposed to run a mile. Was out on the field running my second lap and my stomach started hurting because my fucking mom decided to buy McDonald's for breakfast. So I asked the teacher if I could go to the bathroom and that bitch ass Trump gorilla looking motherfucker. Wow, that got a uh, really racy really quickly from this Roblox player. These little kids, dude, they're, they're getting crazy, okay? They, they have absolutely no limits anymore. Somebody needs to spank these little kids with a wooden spoon. Audience, if I ever had like a miniature version of me and they ever talk to me like this, they're just gonna get the fattest uh, dead, okay? They're never gonna speak to me again. They're, they're not gonna be breathing after that. I just kept running and prayed to Michael Jackson that it would go away. So I'm on my third lap and I have to fart. Damn, and on God, I fart. killed a Barrett. So much shit came out that I could literally make a four-course meal with it. And a wow, chocolate bro, fountain for dessert. So I was about to fucking cry. Obviously, I wasn't gonna tell my teacher that I, I shit myself, so I just said I felt like I was gonna throw up. So I go to the clinic literally holding my hands on my ass so nobody would see my shit. I when I get to the default. clinic, the nurse tells me to sit down, but in my head, I'm like, bitch, if I sit down, your chair is gonna look like the chocolate river from Charlie and this the chocolate so, factory. Okay. Just lean on the wall until my mom comes to pick me up. When I stand up off the wall to go to the bathroom, my shit is smeared on the wall and the nurse looks at it and she's like, what the fuck? Was that you? And I was like, ew, hell no. And I run to the bathroom and my whole ass had shit on it. And when my mom picked me up, I started crying because she asked what smelled like dog shit and she thought she stepped in something and I had to tell her it was my ass. So long story short, this person could have simply went to the teacher and was like, yeah, uh, I kind of sharted my pants a little bit. Can I please go to the restroom? And the whole story would have been done. But you see, audience, the moral of the story is that whenever you hide something, whenever you hide something you're guilty of, it's going to come to light eventually. So audience, my advice is that if you ever shart your pants in class, just raise your hand and just proclaim to everybody that you sharted your pants. You guys got to be like me. Be honest, be humble, and just tell everybody that you sharted your pants, okay? No shame here. Hey, what's up, baby girl? <laughs> Wow, bro, you, you got such a deep voice. Wow, audience, I really wish that I could, I really wish that I could have a, a deep voice like that. I don't understand, dude. Why do these little kids try their best to have a deep voice? I mean, it's pretty cool to have a deep voice. You know, people are gonna take you much more seriously if you have a deep voice. But dude, don't try to get a deep voice unnaturally, okay? It's gonna come to you naturally with age. Just go ahead and wait for your time to come. <laughs> Wow, bro, you get to dance if you're homophobic, dude. That, that, that's pretty funny. 
Oh, big, big head on plan A. Don't fuck up. And what was plan B? Don't fuck up plan A. And what did you do? Stop you plan up plan a all right so we're starting off with a very nice tiktok here uh, a pregnancy test uh something i really didn't expect to come from the roblox community you know when you think of roblox you think of like what eight-year-olds ten-year-olds not necessarily eight-year-olds to ten-year-olds talking about pregnancy tests because you know when i was 10 years old i was doing everything but thinking about a pregnancy test but hey i don't know this is 2021 who knows what even goes on in the roblox community anymore these kids are simply built different and what exactly i mean by built different Okay, I'm not saying that like they're they're superior to me whenever I was 10 years old. Believe me, I was much better than all these other 10 year olds. Okay, these guys are actually downgraded. We are evolving backwards as a society. Stay away from my man. Well, if we're gonna take things a little personal here, you know, vice versa, if I ever seen a guy railing my girl, I, I think that I would, honestly, I wouldn't care. I would not care one bit. Because trust me, if I've ever seen that, then you can see me walking right out the door. Because why? She ain't loyal, okay? These women ain't loyal. However, if this was a different situation whenever uh, she did not want to get railed by this random guy, then uh, you can say that you can you can find me on uh, CCTV News, okay? You, I'll be on the news. I am heavily concerned for the uh, the age of this person that is making this TikTok. And whoever is making that audio, that disgusting audio, you need to go notify your parents immediately so that they can uh, discipline you. Oh my, what the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, we are actually at the point of bestiality inside of the Roblox community. There is bestiality inside of the Roblox community. You know, I've seen the massive age fetishes. I've seen the foot fetish, the fart fetish, but never in my life did I ever think that anybody would sink down to the point of bestiality. PewDiePie said it best, bro. We are truly evolving backwards as a society. Oh baby, so that's what a that's what a good girl does on Roblox.com. They, they they bend over for their Lego mates and they spread their booty for them. Woohoo! How does anyone take this game seriously? How does anyone take this community seriously? Like these kids unironically wake up in the morning, they hop onto Roblox.com and they think that this is the content that everybody uh, across the world wants to see. You guys truly have your priorities straight. You guys know exactly what you're doing on the internet. Great job to you. Punk and nasty. With friends. Wanna get drunk and nasty. 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 Bro, I have seen this Roblox trend happen over and over again. The, uh, wanna get drunk and nasty? Yeah, yeah. Hey, like, dude, nobody cares. You're like five years old. You can't even smoke Smarties correctly. You know, these are the same kids that are saying that they wanna get drunk and nasty, and then the next day they're gonna be going to school on recess and they're gonna be playing tag. Like, like, understand that. When he has headless and he is toxic and gangster, Oh, yes, because that is exactly what you need to go ahead and get yourself a soulmate for life. It doesn't matter his age. It doesn't matter anything. All that matters is if he is toxic and if he is a gangster, because that is totally going to supply my needs for my life. Grandpa got cord locks. A couple racks, a couple Grammys on him. The fact that this guy is a grandpa and he knows what Roblox is, is, uh, is heavily concerning to me. This old man might actually be on Roblox right now talking to little kids. Now, get this, right? I'm not trying to accuse anybody of anything here, right? But just, just, just know, all right? There's some stranger danger out there. There is some 70-year-old men out there that do look like this and the, the, they actually play Roblox. And some of these old men are actually so weird, they actually get the expansion pack and they prey on little kids. So, uh, be safe out there, boys. When I get drunk and nasty. Drunk and nasty. Bro, what is going on? This girl actually got her little baby cousin to go and say, I want to get drunk and nasty. Like, I... I society. Society. <laughs> I have absolutely no more faith inside of society. I mean, if, if there's going to be some sort of revival moment, some sort of redemption arc in this anime called Earth, then please go ahead and let me know when it's going to happen. Because until then, I just want to go into a deep a coma, and then you can wake me up whenever this, this redemption arc actually comes about. Whenever I fall asleep, sometimes, audience, I don't want to wake up. I don't want to wake up to another Roblox compilation, but yet I do because uh, uh, money. If I started peeing on you right now, would you a smile and ask for more or b 
Move the hell out the way! All right, audience, this TikTok is already getting me at the edge of my seat. What happens if I pee on you? Uh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna push you off. I'm gonna beat you up if you pee on me. If somebody's going to pee on me, that is going to be the last time you're ever gonna pee in your life. This is such a rhetorical question. Either A, am I gonna smile and wanna get peed on even more? Or, or B, am I gonna get out of the way? Well, there's gonna be answer C, and I already said it before, but uh, I I'm gonna beat you up badly. I don't wanna smell like your urination. I don't wanna smell like Mountain Dew. <laughs> This is exhibit A, why you should never interact with people inside of a video game, especially something like Roblox. If you're somebody with a net worth of at least $20, you're gonna get a hundreds of thousands of five-year-olds in your DMs trying their hardest to go ahead and get $20 worth of Robux. Do not fall for this, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta keep your money. You gotta have the money mindset. Do not ever give your money away to some loser that's just gonna spend it all on nothing. <laughs> This audience right here is exhibit B whenever a woman wants to hold my hand, okay? I, I freak out. As a man that's never felt the touch of a woman in his life, okay, this is a pretty big deal to me. I would be screaming too. Something like sex is very complicated, audience, okay? When there's a lot of passionate kissing, a lot of hand holding, so I, I would be screaming too. I could steal y'all's boyfriends without even trying <laughs> kiss kiss. <laughs> okay, so uh, with that being said, go ahead and try stealing my heart, okay? I I'm not falling in love with you, you uh, Lego character. I'm not falling in love. You could try all day and all night with your Roblox character trying to make me fall in love with you, trying to e-date you, but I promise one thing is for certain, it's never gonna happen in a jillion years. And even after a jillion years, I'm still not gonna fall in love with a Roblox character. It's just disgusting. Wow, dude, you're so edgy. You you put white stuff inside of a girl's smile. Uh, we can only wonder what that white stuff must be. Of course, it's obviously toothpaste, ladies and gentlemen. All you dirty minds out there are thinking it's something else that it's not, okay? It's toothpaste, all right? <laughs> I'm at a loss for words at this point. Literally, the Roblox community is gonna take any sort of glitch in the video game and they're gonna try sexualizing it one way or the other. It's like, dude, it's a glitch in the game. Like, who cares? It's gonna be patched like next week, all right? You don't need to go ahead and try capitalizing it anytime you can, just so you can try making it something sexual. Like, it's such a waste of time. Roblox has been out for almost 30 hours. My mental state only grows worse. I've cried over 14 times today. I haven't left my room. I haven't ate or drank in hours. I skipped the party I was invited to just to make sure the Roblox was okay. I can't take this any longer. Demons are starting to take control of me. Audience, are you guys like reading this? Are you guys listening to this right now? I do not want any of you guys out of the audience freaking out over a video game this hard. Now, I'm pretty sure most of my audience, because we're obviously the Rith viewers, okay? You guys are the Rith audience. I'm pretty sure that all of my audience is like the popular kids in school that we don't have to actually rely on video games for our satisfaction. Because guess what, audience, okay? We're just built like that. We're not built like these losers right here. How do you actually get that much bent out of shape because Roblox was down for two days? Like, dude, just go play Minecraft. It's better anyways. But yeah, dude, you decided to cancel your life for the span of two days just so that you can play one game of what? Roblox Squid Game? You need to go find something else to go do with your life. Like, you need to go find a job. You need to go find some women, some dudes. You need to be talking to someone. You need to stop living on your computer and playing Roblox, okay? That's the thing that you need to get rid of the most. Okay, first night sleeping in jail, this finna be a brain. Whatever you're trying to do, oh well, get in your cell. It's time for bed. Lights out! All right, so I already noticed one singular detail inside of this video already, and I just have to point it out. Why is the inmate black and the cop white, bro? Like, you couldn't get any other type of person to go ahead and try to put them in jail, but no, you had to get these two. I'm not trying to be a social justice warrior, okay? At the end of the day, I don't care. But I'm just saying, right? You know, they had to actually customize their characters for the scene, okay? What I'm trying to say here is that this video was planned this certain way. We got some racial undertones in this video, so uh, it's whatever, I guess. Hey, big fella. Scoot over. Hold on, what's that? Toot that ass up. Light! 
Life scoop over. But what you on? What you doing at the bottom of my bed? I need some head, big fella. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I have a really big hunch that this is definitely a planned video, especially with the skin tone. Why do you have to get the big black six pack fella named Big Mike inside of the jail cell and trying to get some head? I'm not even gonna qualify this as a Roblox cringe video, okay? Th this video is funny. Now get down here. Go. You looking like a peeled orange. Come no, here. No, I got 10, but I ain't come to sleep with no men. And my name ain't Ben. Bend over, big fella. I took them off. Now take the rest of the ones, yo. Bro. Keep calling for the guard, but my name is Bernard. Bro, I don't know what's going on in your head. I know what you finna do with your head. But I ain't going for that. Hold on to the top bunk and toot that ass up. Listen, bro, I'm just trying to give me some sleep before it's time to eat. Only thing you gonna eat is this meat, big fella. Bro. What what can I say? What? How do I respond to this TikTok video? You know, sometimes audience, it's really hard being a YouTuber, right? Because you gotta watch videos like these because it's really hard to analyze, deduct, and construe a response to watching a video like this one. I mean, what can I say? At the end of the day, Big Mike wanted his loving and he decided to get bugging. Well, you see, I, I don't really think that I should be talking about this particular topic because uh, you, you're kind of like 14, you know? You, you should even be worrying about that kind of stuff. All I gotta say about this one is that uh, you should not be worrying about this uh, this whole puberty thing as of right now. What you gotta be paying attention to is enjoying your Thanksgiving break, and then eventually you're gonna come back to school and take a math test. You should not be worrying about your chest. You should not be worrying about your thighs or your hips or anything of the sort. All you gotta worry about is that literature test, that math test, and that midterm that you're going to be taking very soon. Who are you? The fucking god. Yeah, dude, you're, you're such a god. You, you play Roblox, man. You spent over $500 inside of the video game. How are you not a god? You probably spent $500. You probably spent $500 to $1,000 in this video game. You are anything but a loser like me. I mean, audience, what can I say? This guy's got a flaming head. This guy's got a tuxedo from what it seems. I am truly inferior to this man. I'm wearing what? Holy jeans. I'm wearing some skate high vans. And I'm wearing an Arizona non-brand hoodie and a Hanes white t-shirt, okay? Okay, like I'm not special, but this guy on the other hand. Oh, this guy's a god I may as well just get on my hands and knees and kiss his toes. I mean audience look at him. He's just mm, Raw and you know this guy's delicious I have a deep feeling of what this is because I seen the trigger warning in the fact that it's playing pumped up kicks All right, I already I already know what's gonna happen There is only one thing that relates to pumped up kicks and a trigger warning. Okay I think we can all conclude what's about to go down Bro, I, I, I honestly, I'm, I, am I supposed to make a joke about this? You, you guys are probably thinking I'm gonna make a joke about a, a, a school, uh, shoe. You know what I'm about to say. I'm sorry, audience. Right? You know, I'm gonna draw a line at some point in my videos, and this is that line. I'm, I'm making a joke about this. This video isn't even cringe. It's just, it's just such bad taste. Why are you recreating a shooting inside of Roblox? I have no idea why. If this is supposed to be funny or something, if this is supposed to make me go, ha ha ha, shooting people's fun. Then you are highly mistaken, okay? It's not funny. I don't know who the creator of this video is, but whoever created this video, uh, I, I think you should go ahead and talk to a therapist. <laughs> so I live it all right, audience, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, baby girl, let's go ahead and rate these two gentlemen right here. So it appears before our eyes that we got ourselves two uh, grown-up gentlemen with a six-pack and very thick pecs in front of our eyes. But audience, let me go ahead and fill you in on a little secret, okay? This is actually an illusion. This is not actually real. We're not going to be talking about these two gentlemen right here on the screen. We're going to be talking about the creators of this video. So audience, I want you guys to close your eyes and think about a 600-pound guy with blue blue eyes, a uh, very dark, greasy hair. His hands probably smell like Cheetos in the crevice of his booty hole. I want you, baby girl, to go ahead and rate that 1 through 10. And if you want my personal opinion, that's an easy uh, 11, okay? Woo! I want somebody smelling like booty hole. Absolutely. 
then I finish with a face with just a top it off. Eh. When I ask her if we should use protection and she says, I don't know, you pick. You know, just because this is a Roblox TikTok, I'm assuming that you're probably like between ages like eight years old and 14 years old. And if we do a little bit of deductive reasoning here, right, anywhere between that age and the other age, you should not even be thinking about this stuff to begin with. Like I said before, bro, you got a history test, study for it. Okay, so from the first TikTok of the Roblox community, we are greeted with uh, some... <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Are those supposed to be booty cheeks? I am already left speechless. At the very beginning of the video, I am already left speechless. Uh, do, do people actually, like, uh, get off to this stuff? I mean, I am looking at the video right now. I am trying to get aroused by this, this, uh, this block character. But I don't know, dude. It's just not working downstairs. My member downstairs must be out of order or it must be broken or something because I'm looking at this right now and it's not getting me very excited. In fact, it's working so terribly that I'm actually changing teams. I'm actually turning into a female. It is inverting back into my stomach as we speak. I don't know, bro. As an asexual man that is looking at this stuff, as a man that doesn't look at this stuff and genuinely get the adrenaline rush, the serotonin levels rising, my happiness hormone, I'm just not really enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not getting excited. Uh, okay, well, once again, I am not getting very excited from these videos. I'm not looking at these videos and genuinely thinking, wow, I'm gonna save that mental picture for later. Is there, like, any other type of TikTok that we can view here? Like, I'm looking at this compilation, and then and by far, this is the only type of TikTok that I've seen so far. Come on, Roblox community, pr provide me more. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, woo-wee. Those are some big... Uh Huh. I can't even pretend to like this TikTok, okay? I, I can't even pretend to think that this video is actually pretty cool. Yes, bro, we get it. Your character has two gallons of boredom on its chest, okay? Well, we don't care. Is this supposed to be sexy or something? Am I supposed to look at this video and think, Oh my gosh, dude, you, your voice is so deep. Look, bro, if you want a deep voice, okay, you just simply just go throughout school, you know, just try not to, you know, damage your vocal cords, let everything come to you naturally. And then one way or the other, you're going to have a sexy voice just like Corpse Husband or me, of course, you know, preferably me. I would have no idea what I would do with myself, you know, 10 years down the line. And I see these videos of myself where I'm like, baby girl, oh yeah, yeah, baby girl. Yeah. Like, I would not like it. Like, just stop pretending like you have a deep voice, dude. I mean, just let it come to you naturally. I promise you, it's it's probably gonna hit you in your junior or senior year of high school. Just wait patiently and you'll get your deep voice, okay? It, time will tell. Man, this look pretty good, man. Where your clothes at? Dang, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be showing off your Roblox boyfriend to all of us like that? Look, audience, right, hear me out, right? I'm pretty sure there's somebody out here that's gonna unsubscribe to this channel because I'm about to call him out. Why? It's just like, why do you guys eat date? I will never understand that. I'm never gonna understand when you're on FaceTime with somebody and you're thinking, oh, baby girl, babe, I'm about to hang up. Can, can you please sleep with me on FaceTime? Or even worse than that, you guys are dating. Get this, get this. Drum roll, please. You guys are dating on Roblox Dot com. Just let that go ahead and sink in for a second, right? I'll give you guys like two seconds of silence. Like, like, like really? Oh yeah, baby. I agree with this TikTok right here. A headless Roblox character is shaking those cheeks for me. This is so unbelievably weird on so many different levels. Who is getting aroused by looking at this stuff? It is a headless Roblox character shaking their body. They're shaking their Lego body. Whoever does this, I mean, you need to do something, bro. You need to go to therapy. I mean, you can go to your local church. I'm pretty sure there's a life group that you can go ahead and join where you can go ahead and talk to these people about your Roblox fantasies. But I swear, if there's anybody out of the audience that is watching this video right now and genuinely getting uh, excited over what what's going on here. You better be getting excited over what I have to say about these videos, okay? You don't want to get excited over the videos. Just stop e-dating. Stop looking at Roblox characters like this. You're weird. You're, 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 you're messed up in the head. Just be a normal human being. Yeah, 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 baby, yeah, baby, yeah, baby, let's go. I present to you, audience, another one of the sexual TikTok videos of Roblox. Uh, 
Uh, I'm pretty sure we're all used to this at this point. Next! Wanna get drunk and nasty. Nasty. Wanna get drunk and nasty. I wanna get drunk and nasty. <laughs> Bro, what are these kids doing? You're like 10 years old. I wanna get drunk and nasty. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you are literally like 10 years old. You're still made of cartilage. Where are your parents? Dude, what happened to smoking Smarties, dude? Whenever I was like 10 years old, I would get like the little Smarties. I would grind them up into a little dust and then I would like smoke them out of the little plastic paper. Dude, whatever happened to that, right? You know, it was a healthy way for kids to go ahead and think that they're cool. But it really wasn't cool. But still, it's much better than these pieces of cartilage, you know, singing, I want to get drunk and nasty on Roblox.com. I really don't understand, audience, and I really don't think I ever will, but I, I promise you whenever I do get the reason why people do this, I will let you guys know. But until then, I think you guys are going to be sitting on that bench for a while because uh, I'm, I'm not going to give you the answer. <laughs> Bro, what in the hell? So we go from these really weird, cringy sexual TikToks to now we're looking at a bunch of e-daters and now we're just getting people sharding in people. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just getting people sharding in people's faces. Wow, I, I never thought that Roblox would have a fart fetish, but <laughs> but, uh, but apparently they do. Roblox community, you know, I just started playing your game like a couple days ago. I, I might just uninstall the game after this video has been recorded. If this is what the Roblox community is all about, then I I'm just going to go ahead and uninstall the game. I mean, uh, that's perfectly fine by me. I'm good at Minecraft too. You know, I would much rather deal with a bunch of dream stands on Twitter.com than, uh, than people on Roblox farting and sharding in my face any day of the week. But yeah, aside from that though, we're only halfway through the video, okay? So we're, we're at the climax of the story here. We like, we guys know about rising action, falling action, right? We're at the climax of the story. We still got like three more minutes of TikToks to check out. So uh, buckle up. I am so hungry. I know bro, like me too. Wait, you hear that bro? Huh? I am the greatest, I am the best. I am above all of the rest. My outfit is cool, my outfit is fine. I joined the game in 2009. You know, out of all the compilation that we have react to so far, I think this is the first TikTok that I actually enjoy. I mean, I'll be fair, I'll keep it a buck. This guy's rap skills were on point, okay? He, he knew how to flow, he knew how to pick the bars. Eminem has been really silent ever since this guy's uh, came out with his TikTok on Roblox. I don't know, maybe I might make a Roblox rap sometime in the future, who knows? But first, we have to get rid of the fart fetish first. <laughs> Wow, bro, you found a glitch in the Roblox.com video game. Like, like, Roblox doesn't have any glitches in the game. I mean, to be fair, this guy does have some pretty chiseled cheeks. I'll give him that. I'll be honest, dude, my panties do get stuck to my cheeks a lot of the time, especially when I'm at school outside. You know what I'm saying? It's hot outside. You know, my cheeks begin to sweat. Sometimes the panties do be caught up in the booty cheeks and you got to be digging it out. I'm sorry, but after watching that video right there, I can tell you right now with confidence as I'm sitting down in my office chair in front of this microphone looking at this TikTok compilation, you're never going to seduce me into your Roblox fantasy. You can you can have all that other stuff inside of your community. You can have the fart fetish. You can have uh, you can have the, the Roblox boyfriends. You can have all that, but just don't bring it near me. Oh boy, audience, I can tell. I can tell that we are already in the TikTok Roblox community. The second that you dip your toes into the Roblox TikTok community, you may as well just submerge yourself into the entire community because why? You're just going to be greeted with degeneracy the second you dip your toes in. Oh my gosh, the people from the hood are so hot. Like, dude, you got to go outside, talk to some men, talk to some women, whatever your preference may be. Just go find somebody, okay? Go find another existing human being that you could touch with your, with your, with your hands and not some sort of pixel on the screen where you think that it's called love. It's not love. It's it's perversion. And if you find your attraction, your sexual attraction to be some sort of Roblox characters, quote unquote, from the hood, then you need to go get some help, some serious help. 
Whenever my bedonkers itch, I put my hands inside of my clothes and pull up my bra and I itch them. Well, little girl, I'm pretty sure that everybody on the entire planet did not need to know how you itched your bedonker donkers. I I'm pretty sure I, I don't care. I'm pretty sure the, the viewers don't care. Only people that are probably going to care is going to be like 60 year old men that want to do very perverted things to you. And you shouldn't even be on the internet in the first place. So, well, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do you have any idea how insecure this video actually is? The fact that you have to make a video showing your PP size, that, that that's actually sad. You're so insecure of your two pump chump, your two inch winch, that you actually have to make a TikTok about it to try to justify that, you know what guys, I, I'm a good size, you know, th three inches is, is enough, right? <laughs> Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the e-daters of the Roblox community. I knew that we were going to come across these guys at some point in the video, but yes, e-daters. Oh, love them. You know, fun fact, I used to actually be friends with an e-dater, and my god, he was the cringiest guy that I've ever seen in my life. Fun fact, also, he likes kids, I found out. And if you guys think that I'm joking or whatever, I I'm not. I mean, here's some of the screenshots right now. Look at this guy. He's such a goofball. <laughs> I don't shut up, I grow up. When I look at you, I throw up. Apple bottom jeans, green boots with the fur. Your life is so sad. Yay, because you're in it. Apple bottom jeans, green boots with the fur. No one cares about you. All right, is this like supposed to be funny or something? Am I supposed to be crying my eyes out from all the laughter that I'm experiencing? You know, I feel like I've came across like three variations of this same type of video inside of previous videos that I've made on TikTok Roblox compilations. There's only so many times that you can show me these videos before I'm just like, okay, yes, I get it. It's a TikTok cringe compilation. There's this video. It's not funny. Oh, 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 wobble, wobble, gee, lose with the fur. Like, no one cares. I know I'm smart and and you're not. Who lied to you? Apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. My dad died. Ah, oh, sorry for your loss. I have a GF. And I have a dad. Apple bottom jeans, boots with Yes, because making fun of somebody's dead relatives inside of Roblox.com is top tier comedy. Ha <laughs> ha. You're going to hell. See your dad there. Apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. Bitch. Corvette, Corvette. I'm dead. See your dad in hell. Apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. You fail your test. You fail to teach me. Apple bottom jeans. Okay, so this was the only joke that was like an increment of good comedy. Ladies and gentlemen, if I ever fail a test or if I ever fail a grade or, or, or fail a class, it's my teacher's responsibility, not mine. There are so many teachers that I remember that used to teach me back in school. They got fired, by the way, and, and I can tell you why, because they suck at teaching. Oh, Rith, it's not my responsibility you failed the class. It's only because you weren't paying attention. Look, audience, right? I don't know if any of you guys know this about me, but uh, I'm practically deaf, okay? I I can't hear literally anything. So long story short, if you ever see me fail a class or fail a test, 99% of the time, it's because a teacher is literally whispering inside of the class. I cannot work with you if you can't talk louder than all the other extroverted idiots inside of my class. You gotta speak up. I cannot believe it. I actually cannot believe it. There's actually a guy that's shaking his weenie to a Roblox character. I am truly at a loss for words in this society, man. Like, we are evolving backwards. There is legit. There, we, we, there's no way we're going to be reverting back to a normal society. I swear, bro. I know that I was weird in middle school. Okay, I was a pretty weird kid in middle school. But, bro, I can tell you with confidence that I never, ever looked at a Roblox character and thought, dang, that, that is so hot that I'm going to do this. Okay, this Roblox character must think they're like, there's they're some hot stuff. Yeah, bro, I did not whip out my meat. I did not whip out my member. I did not whip out my Slimmy Jimmy, okay? Uh, you're not going to be seeing any of that. I'm not going to get uh, excited over a Roblox character. I think I've made that point time and time again. And also, off my own judgment of my audience, right? Because I know you guys, the fellas. I know you guys would not look at this video and whip out your meat. I know you guys would not whip out your members to this Roblox video, at least, uh... 
I at least I would hope so. Please unsubscribe if you whipped out your meat, okay? We ain't having this attitude here. Hey, baby girl, you're looking really sexy. Oh, 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 you guys expected this to be the other person's voice. I'm sorry, no, a handsome man like me actually has a deep voice. I'm sorry for interrupting. Let's go ahead and check out this young buck 10-year-old's deep voice. Hey, baby girl, this is <laughs> Dude, this man really hopped on the microphone and said, Hey, baby girl. <laughs> I don't understand, man. Why are you trying to force a deep voice on yourself, right? You know, you're going to develop an Adam's apple in your male esophagus when you're like in 11th grade, 12th grade, somewhere in between those years. You do not have to try to force a deep voice on yourself, right? It's going to come naturally, okay? It's only going to show how insecure you are of your voice if you're trying to force it out. Just be like me, ladies and gentlemen. Just wait until you're in your junior year or senior year of high school, and then you're gonna get the sexiest voice, much like myself. And pretty much since then, dude, ever since you develop your sexy and deep voice, everything, and I mean absolutely everything, is just gonna magically start working in your favor. Like, for example, you know, people are gonna take you more seriously, you know, you're not gonna sound like a squeaker anymore, uh, uh, uh women are just gonna wanna be around you for some reason. Audience, I gotta tell you, when you actually develop a deep voice, it's, uh, it it's pretty cool. The audience, for this very unfortunate gentlemen, okay? We can only wish him the best because this guy seems to be a very late bloomer, so uh, l let's go ahead and give him a moment of silence. <laughs> Oh no, buddy. Oh my goodness. What is that avatar? Man, this Roblox character, he was looking, he was looking mighty fine, okay? He had the thick cheeks, he had the massive pecs, he had everything. But the face, man, you you just ruined it all with the face. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, audience, let me go ahead and ask you guys a question, right? Who actually looks at these videos and takes these things seriously? You know, I'm here to entertain you guys. I'm here to watch these videos. So, of course, I'm gonna watch these videos and be like, oh, wow, woohoo, that's hot. But look, audience, right, in the grand scheme of things, right, I'm not looking at this and thinking, wow, I'm gonna save this mental picture for later. I'm gonna go ahead and save this in my camera roll. So I can go ahead and windmill my seven-inch or pincher in the mirror whenever I get done watching this video. I'm sorry, audience. Audience, but I'm looking at this video and, and I'm sorry, but I, I'm just not that guy. You know, I'm like 100% sure that somebody out of the audience has probably got like a mega stiffy from watching this video right now. But dude, don't, don't you feel like a little bad for yourself? Like it's not that hard. It's not that difficult to go walk outside your front door, go to the next door neighbor and just say, you know, your daughter, let me take her out for dinner. There's going to be absolutely no complications. Okay. There's no roadblocks that's going to be getting in between you guys. You guys aren't dependent on the wife fight. It's good to talk to each other. It's just you and the woman hanging out. But watching these videos, man, okay, you know, call me old-fashioned, right? But, you know, you actually gotta talk to a real female in the real world. Trust me, it it's a lifesaver. Repeat after me. Fight me. Fight me. I would put that's animal abuse. <laughs> Dang, bro, I'm I'm dying laughing right now. I have an entire six pack because I'm laughing so hard. I have seen so many countless TikToks talking about this particular trend in specific. That bro, I'm actually hearing the same jokes over and over again, and bro, it's getting so unfunny. I'm not gonna fight you because that's animal abuse. <laughs> like, please let these kids actually get a real sense of humor, like me. And riddle me this: try to find one person in your life that is born after like 2000. 12 that's actually funny nobody nobody exists like that repeat after me i sound so nice i sound so nice yeah when you're muted repeat after me no just do it it's for my channel no it's not funny yeah it is i make all my friends laugh what friends OMG, I will cancel you. Lol. Oh no, audience, we don't wanna we don't wanna get canceled on the YouTube channel now, do we? I swear, dude, this is like what every single kid is gonna resort to whenever they have like some sort of controversy and they're just like, oh, I'm gonna cancel you. Ratio, ratio. <laughs> like you guys are just not funny. You guys are never going to be funny in the slightest. And before you know it, cancel culture is just gonna be watered down to basically nothing. If anything, you're just giving the person more publicity to get more followers. I can tell you right now, audience, that I'm gonna get canceled at some point in the YouTube channel 
Well, it's gonna happen. But guess what? At the end of the day, you can't cancel anybody who doesn't care. And to go ahead and answer the wild question, uh, do I actually care? Uh, what do you think? No, I don't like you. I just thought you were cool enough to kick it. Gotta be. Oh, man. It's a Travis Scott meme. Me trying to explain to my mom why Roblox was on her YouTube search history when I was 10. You know, audience, I'm gonna be honest, all right? Whenever I was 10 years old, I, I think I was more on the uh, the Minecraft side than the Roblox side. You know, I was, on, I was on the right side of history. There was two people in this world, people that looked at Roblox, you know what, and Minecraft, you know what, and then there's liars, okay? If everyone, everyone has done it, everyone in the audience has definitely looked this stuff up when they were 10. Do not try to lie to me. You're not gonna BS me, all right? You know, I'm the Rith YouTube channel. You ain't gonna be fooling me. Everyone look this type of stuff up when they were 10 years old. You can't deny that. You know, if you don't want to admit to it right now, you know, that's okay. You know, you can come to your senses later, come back to this YouTube video, and you can confess your sins. But, you know, until then, man, I you're just gonna have to live with that shame, that guilt of not admitting it in my comment section. So, eventually, you're gonna have to come back to this video. So, I mean, just go ahead and do it now. Save yourself some time, audience, okay? There, there's no judgment here. <laughs> Bro, did, did you just read the caption? Did you just read what this guy just said? Yo, I just had cloitus with my girl. Good for you, buddy. Uh, did, did, did she enjoy it? Nah, not really, but I forced her into it, but, but, but she was moaning though, so I guess she must have enjoyed it. We got a confirmed Roblox diddler on our hands, a forceful diddler on our hands. All right, red alert. Everybody go ahead and hide your kids, hide your wife, because this man's gonna pull up to your house with a Glock and start buggering your daughter. Where did you go, go? You know, this video is already bad within itself, right? But just the ending video right here. Stop! That's a child! <laughs> the Roblox community, ladies and gentlemen. I love it and I hate it at the same time, but I more likely love it because uh, it, it gives me fat views. I failed my test today. R.I.P. my grades. Hey, I have to tell my mom. R.I.P. my life. Hey. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we have here today is a girl that probably just entered high school. You probably just entered your freshman year of high school, all right? You care about what everybody says about you. And for some odd reason, you still care about your grades in school. I was that kid, ladies and gentlemen. I was that kid that would care about what every single classmate thought about me. And I was also that kid that cared so much about their grades in school. But however, I'm a senior in high school now and I can care less. Just give me my diploma, baby. That's all I care about. Who am I railing audience? Uh, I'm probably gonna have to go for the left. This guy is easily packing more. I'm just saying. If I had to choose two light-skinned men or a dark-skinned male, I mean, just by going by stereotypes, all right? I'm gonna have to go for the left. Shout out to my black brothers, all right? I, I bet you guys are feeling great right now. I'm sorry, audience, but the left character here today, all right? I'm gonna have to bottom lip bite for this guy. I mean, he just looking sexy today. Please forgive me for liking a, <laughs> a Roblox character. <laughs> Okay, let me stop you right there, buddy. Emo avatars are worse than Slenders in CNP. All right, I know most of my audience is like Roblox fans and whatnot, but let me go ahead and give my opinion, all right? It doesn't matter whether if you're an emo character, a Slender, or a default character. Can we all just come together and say that debating over what Roblox character looks cooler or not is stupid? Your character is just a character, all right? It doesn't hinder your performance. It doesn't enhance your performance. I only play Roblox because I make videos about Roblox. Does that make me any cooler or any worse than any other character on Roblox? Absolutely not. If there's anybody that's going to deserve my judgment, it's going to be anybody that spent money on Roblox. Do not spend money on a free video game. That's stupid. <laughs> Where would you touch me? Uh, what? First off, buddy, I don't know your age. I don't know who you are. And second off, you cannot even touch a Roblox character. If we're talking about what you look like in real life, you'll probably look like a Platinum Redditor. All right, this is you, all right? I got a selfie of you right here. Don't you dare be posting this on the internet thinking that I'm gonna go ahead and fall in love with you. That is the last thing that you should be expecting on the internet. And if you think that you're gonna be attracting any of my audience to go ahead and fall in love with you, then you are poorly mistaken. You know, I like to think that my viewers are like pillars of wisdom, all right? We're, we're pretty smart people. We're probably the smartest race of people. <laughs> and if you're coming around here onto my turf thinking you're gonna...
force any of my subscribers to fall in love with you, then you're poorly mistaken. Go ahead and pack your bags and leave. We are not Roblox simps. We are not e-daters, all right? We are just straight up Sigma male legends, all right? That is what the Rith audience is. One eye open when I'm sleeping. Reminder, don't online date. It's so cringy and all you're doing is wasting your time. Y'all are gonna break up anyways. Y'all ain't four lifers. Y'all are freaking four monthers, lol. Trust me, I've learned my lesson and it's corny and cringy. Oh my lord. You know, this guy was low-key speaking facts, all right? He was like, yeah, don't online date. It's gonna waste your time. You're only gonna last like five days. But then you just had to swing right back around and say, you know what, guys? From my own personal experience. I actually online dated and I broke up with her in five days. I spent my entire retirement plan on her. And uh, and you want to know what's the worst part about it? I didn't even see her cute little face. But yeah, audience, just a word of advice, all right? Do not online date. I think it's pretty evident on my videos that uh, I do not condone online dating. Once an e-dater, you're always an e-dater. I'm just saying, audience, if I could speak to women, if I can talk to women, you guys can most definitely do it. It's not that difficult. If I can do it, you can do it most definitely. Hey, baby girl. Hey, daddy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, heck no. You are not talking like that. Listen to this clip again, audience. Tell me that they are not under the age of 10. Hey, baby girl. Hey, daddy. I am just, I am lost at this point, audience. I am baffled. These two both sound like they're below the age of 10 years old. If they're siblings, I would not doubt it. But I guess my question here today is why and how did these little kids get this prompt in their head to think of something like this? These guys sound like they're in third grade. Whenever I was getting home from third grade, I was doing like my general math homework. I was learning multiplication. I was not thinking about hopping on my mother's iPad and recording something like this. I was a good kid, audience. I don't understand these people anymore hey baby girl hey daddy what are you doing nothing i love you i love you more honey bun bun bro what i love you too honey bun bun bro stop like talking to your sister like that i know it's your sister i do not need any evidence that it's your sister it's just a hunch in my head but i guarantee you it's your little sister it's your sibling you two are related you guys should not be talking to each other like that like i said before audience and like i will say again the front door of your house walk outside of it go to starbucks talk to a girl talk to a guy get their phone number it's not that hard Hard audience, it's not that strenuous of a task to go outside of your home and talk to a person you genuinely feel a connection with. This is exactly what you should not be doing. This is not what you should be doing, audience. If you think that your life is leading up to this moment, then you must have really poor standards on what your life actually has in store for you. Gonna be, I heard back, Tommy J. Gonna be, I heard back, Tommy J. All right, so we got ourselves an 86-year-old man on Roblox. Uh, that concerns me. Why do you like Roblox? Why do you like kids? Look, it's very simple. If you're 86 years old, if you're above the age of, what, 70, 60? If you're playing Roblox on the daily, if you're playing Minecraft on the daily, and if you're talking to these 10-year-olds and 15-year-olds just for any reason, I feel like you should be investigated by the FBI because I feel like whenever I let my child go ahead and roam on the internet inside a voice chat, I would be expecting them to talk to kids maybe like, I don't know, 10 years old, the 12 years old, the 20 years old at max. I'm not going to be expecting a World War II veteran talking to my child on a block video game. But yeah, my argument has been said, if you're 60 plus years old, please log off Roblox, please log off Minecraft, please log off uh, uh, Dora the Explorer Simulator. We don't need you here. Nobody wants you here. <laughs> in just three steps. All right, audience, I'm sure a lot of you guys have been waiting for something like this. I'm sure you guys have been waiting to learn how to be a baddie. Personally, I already know that I'm a baddie. I mean, I already know that I can throw it back. So just to go ahead and set a preface here, I'm not watching this for me, all right? I'm watching this for you guys. I already, I already know that I'm a baddie. I'm just wanting to show you guys how you can become one too. To be baddie in just three steps. Step one, be baddie. Step two, be baddie. Nice, bro. These guys probably thought that they were so funny. Now, listen, audience, if you guys want to learn how to be a baddie just like me, I'll go ahead and tell you. Number one, you got to leave a like on the video. Number two, you got to subscribe to the channel. And number three, comment on this video saying baddie, all right? That, that is how you become a baddie in real life. Single day, wash your bum bum, wash your bum bum, wash the dirt away. Now the bum bum squeaky cream, but there's no towel to be seen. I'm trying to f you, baby. Hopefully we don't have no baby. 
So, uh, is anybody gonna tell me how a literal baby, a literal toddler, goes from watching Coco Melon on their sister's iPad and then going into 14 year old emo white boy mode and dancing all over the place over what? Because your sister took your iPad and you're angry? This TikTok makes absolutely no sense. Like, what is the toddler even doing in the first place? Did you, like, unlock their inner potential because you took their Coco Melon away? Because, oh, God forbid, you took away their iPad and they can't listen to the Black Sheep song. <laughs> No, I have not, in fact, seen any white girl twerk. I, I actually haven't seen anybody twerk in my life. However, I will say if uh, this video gets more than five likes, I will uh, I will twerk, okay? I will shake my butt. I ain't never seen a white girl twerk. Do you want to see a white girl twerk? Yeah, yeah, I want to see the white girl twerk. twerk oh, girl, wow. Girl, twerk. The, the white girl twerk is just... <laughs> Oh. Yeah, bro, I, I don't understand this TikTok whatsoever. Is this supposed to get me excited? I mean, I've seen these TikToks over and over again where they think that these little kids make these videos, right? They think that you guys get excited when you watch these videos. But if anything, whenever I watch these videos, I feel like my male body part is just inverting right back into my stomach. All I'm saying, bro, is that whenever I look at this, I personally, I'm not getting very attracted to this. You know, it, it's just not my lingo. Maybe some of you guys out of the audience are attracted to something like this. I mean, it's your, it's your preference, you know, you go ahead and be attracted to, <laughs> to Roblox characters. But all I'm saying is that if you are attracted to these characters, just get ready for me to make fun of you. That's all I'm saying. Oh yeah, baby, I agree. Emo boys are just... I'm just kidding, audience. Emo boys are not attractive. <laughs> I think it does go without saying being a pale skin, 90 pound emo reject is definitely not attractive in the slightest. Yeah, bro, last night I slit my wrist to this Billie Eilish song and my blood was dripping all over my leather couch, bro. Th that was attractive. That was handsome. Emo boys, audience, just, just raw, bro. You, 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 you can't get enough of them. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the Bro, I am not surprised that this is an actual feature inside of Roblox. I really want to talk to the game developers. Like, who actually created this game mode inside of Roblox? I want to talk to you. I want to talk to your parents. I want to talk to your father. I, I, I bet that they're really proud of you as a child. Imagine your father at his job, right? He's working his 9 to 5 job. He's working his butt off just to pay for your living. A roof over your head. And then his co-worker, Little Timmy, is going to ask your father, saying, Yo, what does your child do for a living? And the fact that your father has to tell his co-worker, being like, Yeah, uh, my son creates NS. SFW game modes on Roblox. I bet that your father's proud of you. I bet that you're going to be a family heirloom that everybody's going to talk about for many generations to come. And just to give you guys some clarity, I'm not talking about positive stuff, okay? You're going to get made fun of forever. The fact that this guy actually took the time out of his day being like, you know what? I need to grab my iPhone and record my screen because, dude, this was so unbelievably hot. This was so unbelievably sexy. That I just had to whip out my iPhone and record this beautiful and lustful moment. You are an absolutely sick man. Whoever recorded this video, you are actually sick. You're mad. I'm back. Big mad. He's mad. She's mad. Big sad. Hi. Oh, 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 sorry about that. Bro, this is not okay. Why is this inside of Roblox? Every single day, ladies and gentlemen, we keep on drifting further and further away from society. I do not understand why are we doing this? Why are we doing this as a human race? I swear, bro, since we're down on Earth, I swear God's looking down on us right now and he's just disappointed. He's getting more and more disappointed by the day. You know, if we just keep on sitting here and doing this stuff day by day, week by week, and month by month, I swear Jesus is just gonna come back and just kill us all. Personally, if I were him, bro, I would've just destroyed the earth like months ago. I would have I would have done it like hundreds of thousands of years ago. The fact that we're still living, the fact that we're still existing as a species on this planet is truly something amazing. It is truly a miracle. Because bro, this this we're on the same planet as stuff like this. No wonder the aliens has never visited us. They're probably just as confused as I am. I swear if any aliens are watching this video right now, please take me. Take me, daddy. Don't wanna have to stretch your she on fire in front of her. Oh, ho, 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 you're looking pretty hunky today. I mean, I know you said you wanted a girlfriend, bro, but I mean, 
I, I could be a good wife to you. The only deal I'm gonna make with you, bro, is that you give me whatever amount of money I ask of you, and you can have 40 minutes of whatever the heck you want with me. And I mean, you could do literally anything with me. You can take me out to dinner. You can, uh, you can hold my hand. And there's this one other thing. Uh, we can, uh, we can kiss behind the Chevrolet dealership. I don't know, man. I know you said you wanted a girlfriend, but I promise you, I promise they're not gonna be as good as me. I show off my BF boys. <laughs> hey, so like, I love you. <laughs> I absolutely love the voice reveal videos on TikTok, man. They're so funny. I love whenever these kids do a voice reveal and they try making their voices sound so deep and so sexy. When in all reality, you just sound like a complete fool. You sound constipated. You sound like you're trying to pinch, bro. I keep on repeating myself, but I'll say it again for the people in the backseat. Let your voice become deeper naturally. Do not try to force a deep voice. You're going to sound like a complete fool. <laughs> Yeah, uh, sorry, bro. I I'm not really into Roblox Slenders all that much. I'm not really much of a big fan of those guys. I know what I said in the previous TikToks. I know I was saying some pretty sussy stuff. But before all of you guys start unsubscribing to my channel, okay, I was, uh, I, I was joking, okay? I, I, I promise. I promise I'm not into Roblox Slenders. I'm not into Roblox characters. I'm, uh, I'm not into, uh, I'm not into men. You know, honestly, I'm at a loss for words at this point. I am trying to understand. I really am trying to understand, audience. I'm trying to look at these videos from the perspective of, like, an average 10-year-old kid. The reason why it's so difficult for me to understand and put myself into the shoes of a kid like this that would post this type of stuff is because I was not that same 10-year-old whenever I was 10 years old. Whenever I was 10 years old, I was watching, what, iBallistic Squid and Stampy Cat and Tobuscus? Most of you guys probably have no idea who those people even are, but, bro, whenever I was 10 years old, this was the last type of thing. I was thinking about. Roblox cringe, ladies and gentlemen. It is truly a despicable creation. I don't know why it was created, and I don't know why the Roblox fandom got the way it is. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm about done checking out this Roblox cringe here today, so if you ended up enjoying the video, please subscribe. I appreciate it. But yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna go back to where the dark ones came later.